Hello, my old school soul food family. Jeff Jeff is back. Hold on, y'all. Oh, y'all. I'm doing all these vlogmas. I have to keep up with what vlogmas I'm doing, y'all. Y'all bear with me. We are doing vlogmas day six. Vlogmas day six, y'all. I have notes here behind me because I'm, all these days are going to start running together here in the next couple of weeks. So, Vlogmas Day 6. I'm going to share with y'all another souffle. I know I did a souffle last week or a few days ago or whatever. All days running together. Y'all bear with me. I still got my chef coat on. I got to change it to another one. I had this couple of days. I got six of these chef's coats. So, I'm going to throw this in their dirty clothes and get my other one out and keep moving. But we did do an old school spinach souffle, y'all. This, if you made the other souffle, I think it was uh, vanilla last week, this one's going to be 10 times easier. 10 times easier. All the thing is the same method, but you have no vanilla, you have no sugar in it. It's going to be totally savory, and you're using spinach. Spinach is one of my favorite vegetables. Y'all say I don't need enough vegetables. I absolutely love spinach. You give me some sauteed spinach with a little garlic and shallots in, a little salt and pepper, I'll eat a bowl of it. I absolutely love it. Been loving it since I was a child. Of course, in a child, we didn't eat fresh spinach. We ate the can. You know, watching Popeye squeeze that can of spinach and shoot it up in his mouth. I thought that was the most amazing thing. And that's really how I started like eating spinach. Of course, I didn't eat it out of the can cold, but I absolutely love spinach. I love it. So, spinach is actually good for you. But that's one of my favorite vegetables in spinach. So, anyway, one thing is here is spinach. I got a little shallot here. A shallot, only thing a shallot is, y'all. It's like a sweeter version of an onion. Very, very, I love working with shallot. I don't work with them enough on this channel, but shallot, very cheap. And uh, I'm gonna put a little garlic in here when I saute the spinach. But what we gonna do, we gonna make the filling for the for the uh, souffle with all of those eggs and milk. That's it, and some flour. We're gonna do that. We're gonna saute the spinach, fold it in, then fold in the egg whites, because there's a method to the madness here. We wanna, have this, we're gonna put it in the ramekins. But I had to create a way, if I wanna serve this to family and friends, I really don't wanna put the ramekin on the table or whatever, what if I wanna serve it? So I created a way, how I'm gonna get it out the ramekin? This is the way. You get to some phyllo dough, I'm gonna show y'all. Phyllo dough right there, y'all probably never seen that in the freezer section, it's next to the puff pastry. What I do, I line the ramekins with uh, phyllo dough, spread, put the souffle in there at the end, you can lift the whole thing out. Just flip it out with the with the phyllo set on the plate. I'll show y'all that later. And it's absolutely amazing. I've done that in competitions and people being all like, oh my God, that's an awesome idea. Hey, you gotta be creative. I'm never I'm always trying to improve my craft, even at we're in retirement age. So anyway, let me step out, get everything set up here. We're gonna come back, we're gonna put this old school spinning souffle together. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's so easy and simple. You can make any kind of souffle from this man. You can do broccoli, you can do cheese, you can do carrot, you can do any kind of corn souffle, any kind with this procedure I'm showing you right now. So anyway, vlog was day six, just getting started. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, now we're gonna get this filling done for this. First thing I need to do is get the filling done and get it cooled down. Not directly cooled down, but kind of, you know, room temperature instead of being really, really hot. Once I get that done, we're going to saute our spinach, y'all. Get it done and cooked off and pretty much at room temperature. Then we'll bring the two together. While the spinach and the filling is getting room temperature kind of cooling down, we're going to work on our phyllo and putting it in the cups. And once we get it all mixed together, we whip up our egg whites. So there's really four steps to this, four simple steps. So first, let's get this going here in the pot. Just like making a regular souffle, I'm gonna put the milk in here with the flour, heat it up, get it thick, temper the eggs, and uh, that's it. So I don't even have this turned on yet. I wanna get this flour all mixed up in here. I'm using my wire whip here, so I don't like to do in a metal pan, but it's a little bit more stronger. Then I'll kind of switch over. I'll switch over here. Like I say, this, this here procedure uh, it's, it's very quick. Okay, now we're gonna turn this on. Let me switch my whips out. Alrighty. We're gonna turn this on, let it come to a boil, pretty much, and it'll thicken up, it'll be thick. We're gonna temp our egg, we got our egg yolks here. We're gonna put a little in that, meaning temper, temper. 
Y'all know what that is, temper. Move y'all back over here. Temper, meaning get the eggs the same temperature as this here and add it to that. And that'll be pretty much done. And then we'll saute our spinach off with our garlic and onions and shallots and salt and pepper. We're going to season that really, really good. But I'm not putting no salt in this here. Uh, in here. So anyway, we'll step off here about two or three minutes. We'll get this to, uh, boiling. Then we'll come right back. This is very simple, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, let me take this off the fire, y'all, because it's sticking in really, 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 really quickly. See that? Look how quick that's sticking in up. Look at that. You definitely don't want it to get lumpy. You definitely want to keep it smooth. Now, I'm going to turn this fire off. Now, what I'm going to do, I want to temper these eggs here. Move this over here. You don't want to put some hot liquid into the egg yolks here. And we're going to mix this up in here. So the eggs will get a, don't be cold so you don't have scrambled eggs when you put it in your pot. See that? That's called tempering, y'all. Y'all should know that by now. Y'all been following me enough. If you haven't, where you been? Where you been? Okay. Now, let's get this stirred up in here, and then we're going to cut this fire back on. See that? Nice, rich color. Just savory. Nothing, no sugar in here. Now, if I was making a, a, a sweet, uh, turn on just a little, not much. If I was making a sweet, uh, souffle, I'd have sugar in there with the milk and the flour, but I'm not, so I'm going to heat this up, just cook this up just a little, I'm going to set this aside, y'all, it's so easy, y'all going to be making souffles, I've got two souffles in my blogmas this year, I'm going to get y'all making souffles, very simple and easy, and then impress y'all family and friends, I'm telling you, if you go, they go over your house, they see souffles, people are just so impressed and think it just takes so much time. It really doesn't. There's nothing to it. So we got that all mixed up in there. Look at that. Nice, smooth. That's all you want, y'all. I'm going to turn it off. I can see it's getting thick. The eggs are completely cooked. And that's it. We're going to move y'all over here. Move y'all over here. We're just going to put it in the bowl right here and let this thing sit. You can put it in the fridge if you want to. It's up to you. It's really not necessary. You want to scrape that out, put that right there. That's your base for your souffle right here, y'all. That's your souffle base right there. That's what we're going to fold our spinach into and our egg whites. That's right there. There we go. Just let that sit to the side. That's the thickness you want. Of course, it's going to get thicker as it sets up. So anyway, we'll be right back in a second, y'all. We're going to work on this spinach. I told y'all, this is very simple. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, let's work on this spinach here. I got my skillet here heating up. We're going to put some shallots in here. Got my shallots nice and chopped up here. Make sure I put them all in here. The shallots just give things a different, unique unique flavor y'all and we use a lot of shallots in professional cooking because it's just a different sweetness and uh than an onion would be look at that okay now we're gonna add a little garlic to this we're going to that now we're gonna add our add our spinach to this and that look like a lot of spinach y'all but you already know if you ever cooked spinach before there's an illusion of the spinach spinach that makes you think you got a lot then at the end like what happened to all my spinach it definitely will disintegrate on you i'm gonna get all this kind of that'll stay in my skillet make sure you wash your spinach y'all the spinach can be very, very dirty. And I wash this two or three times and let it dry out. Okay. Definitely want to get this sauteed up. I don't 
don't want to burn my burn my garlic either. This stuff wanna keep jumping out of my skillet. Come on, spinning. Come on now. You definitely don't want to put too much oil. You don't want it to be oily. I put just enough oil to saute the shallots and the garlic out. And I'm breaking all kinds of protocol, y'all. I've got a metal spatula, a metal tongue in my skillet. I don't like doing that. I don't like using metal in any of my skillets here. Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to season this really, really good with salt and pepper. Because remember, I didn't season the, uh, I didn't season the, the base for the, for the souffle. So the seasoning is going to come from the spinach, which we're going to fold it all in there and it's going to all work out. I figured out throughout the years, I used to season the base, not the spinach, and it was just bland. So I started seasoning the spinach. Instead of the base, I didn't want to season both because sometimes it'll overpower and be too salty. Once I spin the finish, instead of the base, it just took off. So that's it, y'all. We're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to let this cool. And I'm going to chop this up later. When it cool off a little, I'm going to chop it up really, really good. And I'm going to squeeze as much water out of this as I can. You know, spinach has a lot of liquid in it. If you ever cook spinach, it has a lot of liquid in there. So I want to get as much liquid out of there as I can. Cause if I don't, it's gonna mess up my souffle. So we're gonna put in this bowl right here. I can eat this whole bowl of spinach, y'all, right now. I absolutely love spinach. I'm crazy about it. Especially when you saute it with garlic and shallots, salt and pepper. That's a meal right there. I can eat all of that right now. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. And we'll, once all this cool, cool down, we'll whip our, we're gonna come back in a second. Matter of fact, and start working on our phyllo cups in our bowl and our ramekins, and then while that'll be ready, and then we'll whip our egg whites up, fold all this together, and it'll be ready, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, now, we're gonna work with this phyllo dough. Now, look, when y'all have phyllo dough, make sure you got a damp rag, a towel rag, you know, I'm from country, <laughs> rag to, uh, to work with this. But this stuff is paper thin, and let me put this in the refrigerator. I definitely don't need this. Okay, this is paper thin stuff and it will dry out on you so quickly and crumble. So you gotta make sure you have a wet towel around you when you're working with this stuff. I'm gonna put that disclaimer out. Okay, let me find an opening for this. Here we go, there we go. There we go, here we go. Stuff is very thin. See that? Let me show you how thin it is. See how thin that is, like paper. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, we're gonna cut some squares here. Matter of fact, let me take a couple of them out here, and I'm gonna move them out the way here, and the other ones out the way. Come on, bud. Come on for that. And you, I like to work pretty fast with this, y'all, because, like I say, it dries out on me so quickly. So what I like to do, cut that like that, cut it like this, take them here, I'll put that just like that in there. You want to kind of let it hang over the outside like that. And what I'm doing, I'm making myself a paper cup. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Just like that. So when I put the souffle in here, we can flip it out. Another thing I'm gonna do, I like to do, give me some spray. Kind of spray inside the cup, that way it don't dry out completely on me. Just like that. Just like that, y'all. Let me do another one here. Like I said, I gotta move quick on these. Kind of like this. And you can definitely do them individually too. Like take one piece. Come here. Do them like this if you want to. But I usually do two at a time. And what I want to do, I want to make sure they kind of lap over the edge. Not too much, but over the edge where I can kind of flip them out. Like these right here. Just like that. 
See that? Now I'll spray the inside of these. She is spraying inside there. Put that in right there. I'll get the idea. So when I put the souffle in there, let me do one more. And I'll step off and finish these up because, like I said, you got to move pretty quick on these things. On phyllo, because it will dry. If you work with phyllo before, it will dry. And one box of phyllo goes a long way, y'all. That right there. You want to do at least two layers of phyllo. Don't do just one. One I found out wasn't quite enough. Found that out the hard way one time. Right in a competition. When the thing didn't hold up on me. But sometimes it works. That's how you do trial by error. Trial by error. Okay, put this one right over there. You don't want two, no more than two, because you don't want a doughy thing. Just want to kind of use this as a as a base. Okay, see that? Now, when I finish all these, I'm gonna cover them with a damp towel so they don't dry out too much until I get my until uh, I get my souffle made. So, see that? Very simple and easy. So, anyway, we'll be right back once I get them all done. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, like I was telling y'all, I like to. Uh, I got to drain all the water out the spinach. You see how the spinach is liquidy? What I do, get me a little shimmer here, a strainer, get me a spoon. I want to mash as much water out of this as I can, y'all. I don't want none of this water going into the, to the, got to squeeze all the water out as you can. See that? All that liquid coming out of there? That's what you want to do. Just spinning. You don't want none of this because it's going to ruin your souffle. Okay. Put that back in the bowl. How much spinach we got out of there? Look at all the water come out of there. See? We don't want that. We don't want none of that in my souffle. And now what I'm going to do, take me a knife here. We're just going to kind of rough chop it. Chop it up here a little. See? Okay. We'll chop it little bitty pieces so it can distribute better in the souffle. See? That's what you want to do. And that's it. Now we're going to set this aside here and we're going to come back here. And we're going to put this souffle together. We're going to get an egg white white uh, uh, whipped up. And we're going to put this souffle together, y'all. Old school! Finish souffle. The block bus, y'all. Can't go wrong with that. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. All right, let's next step here. Let's combine the spinach and the filling together. Put that in here like this. Don't throw the spinach in here. And why it's very important, y'all, to drain the spinach. We're going to mix these up together. See that? She's all mixed together good. And all we waiting on is egg whites, y'all. It's the base for your spinach fruit plate. See that? See that? That's what you want. That's what you want right there. Now, we're going to step around here and we're going to get these egg whites going. Can't have fruit play without what? The egg whites. So we're going to Set this right to the side. We got an egg whites right here. We're going to whip these up. Grab my mixer here. We're going to mix these up, y'all. And y'all know it's important to have the egg whites room temperature. All we're going to do, y'all, whip these to a stiff peak, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all. That's what you want right here. Let me get this off of here. Unplug this thing, and we're going to get the get all these off of here, y'all. Okay. You know, I like to use my finger to show y'all. See that? That's how stiff you want the egg whites. Just like that. 
Okay, get this off the out the way here. Now we're gonna. Y'all know my procedure. I like to uh, mix a little of the egg whites in with the to get it started in with the mixture like this. Just kind of get it incorporated. I like to kind of stir it in before I actually start folding it in. See that? Kind of get a little bit of the egg whites already incorporated into the mixture. It's a little trick I learned years ago to have a perfect souffle. Okay, now, all I'm going to do, y'all, now, we're going to do round and around. Round and around up in here. See that? You want to fold these egg whites in, y'all. See that? Fold them in just like that. Get them fully incorporated, y'all. Get some more here. Trying to do in three batches here, y'all. Three intervals, however you want to say it. Like I say, y'all, you can do this with any vegetable you want. But finish is absolutely my favorite savory, savory souffle. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, let me get the last of this out of here. Okay. And out the way. Get this moved up in here just like this. Around and around. You definitely don't want no pockets in there either. If you'll have a souffle with a lot of air in it. No, no, uh, spinach okay that's pretty much it y'all that's pretty much it now I'm get my scoop and get my containers here find my souffle scoop hold on one second y'all okay y'all I gotta remember my cups I did earlier all we gonna do y'all and scoop this right into the pico cups. Just like that. Nothing to eat, nothing. Just like this, y'all. Just like that. Nothing a little full, huh? That's why I put too much in that one. Yep, Jeffrey, you put too much in that one. We'll fix that right now, y'all. Nothing a little spoon on. Mm, won't hurt. Take some from this one. There we go. Ain't gonna hurt it one bit, y'all. A bit more. There we go, y'all. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. 350 degrees. Gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. Do not open the door after 15, 15 minutes. You can kind of peek, but please do not open the door before 15 minutes. If not, these things will fall on you. See? Very simple, very easy. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back when they're ready. About 15 minutes, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at these nice, beautiful spinach souffles, y'all. They're completely, completely done. Just 25 minutes in the oven. So I'm gonna take a YouTube thumbnail. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you how I flip them out of the, uh, flip them out of the, dish here and we're gonna sample them so we'll be right back okay y'all we are back here okay let me show y'all here how i would serve these they're gonna deflate a little but not a lot y'all so what i do you gotta have heavy heavy hands for this take it see how they just come right out of there see that pick them up gonna be kind of hot but see that get one more out of here. These ramekins are very hot, but I do this for a living, y'all. Let me move these over. See that? See how you can just take them up out of there? Look at that. That's why I use uh, the phyllo dough. And a lot of people are going to say, Jeff, Jeff, why you don't use pie dough? I've thought about this. It's a science. Like I said, cooking is a science, y'all. Pie dough will be burned up by the time these, uh, it will not burn up. It will be raw. By the time these souffles get ready, souffles will be burnt up by the time the pie 
dough gets ready. So I use phyllo, which is very, see how, see how that is, very thin. And I just use it as a cup. It's like an edible cup that you can use. And you can just serve these on a plate. You have a dinner party at your house, make these and serve them right up on your plate. Enough being said, let's go into this. Let me show y'all how good this is, y'all. Nice and fluffy. You don't have to eat the bottom if you don't want to. I just use it in a cup. See that nice fluffy souffle is very hot. Let's go in here. Mm. 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 I love spinach, y'all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and hot. It's nice and light. Very flavorful. Because you now I season the spinach really, really good. Mm. Oh my God. Very good, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit, one more good bite. One more bite. We're gonna close it here. Like I say, y'all, you can uh, you can use. Any kind of vegetable. Corn, I like, just put cheese in it. Broccoli, chop it up really, really fine. Anything you want. Carrots, make sure you cook them really, really good. Chop them up, fold it in there. Very simple, very easy. So anyway, y'all, let me start uh, close this video. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest. And OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Help others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Blockman's Day. What day is this? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I got notes all over the place. Blockman's Day 6. Done.